If you face Esther Rosa with hate in your heart, his benevolence will command and will not allow you to do so. You cannot fight. But that's not what Escanor feels. He feels pity that he's weaker than him. Come on. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Seven Deadly Sins, uh, Season 2, Episode 22. After this, I'm almost positive because most anime seasons around 20 are like 25, if I remember correctly, but this one's 24. So after this, we only got two left. Yep, 24. So that'll be interesting. I'm excited. I'm very excited for this episode. I won't even try to lie to you. With that being said, I say we just hop right into this. Remember, guys, if you guys want to support the channel and get early access and full length to this show, all of the shows I'm watching, check out that Patreon down below. If Patreon's not really your thing. If you guys could support this video by please liking it and typing something nice in the comments, say some one nice thing about somebody you see, about myself, or maybe something about any anime you like. Just say something nice in the comments. I appreciate y'all. Make sure to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter for the streams and for the content. Let's hop into this. Seven Deadly Sins, Season 2, Episode 22 called Return of the Sins. They're coming back, baby. I'll be honest, I was so excited to see Nero Basta come in. She wasn't even that high up in terms of the goddess's uh, military might or power, which is exactly why she got her ass handed to her. But I think she was used as a device to introduce us to goddess magic. And now that we know about goddess magic, now it's even just as crazy when we realize that fucking Elizabeth has it. When, uh, fucking, how, uh, Den Den Denieri? How do you pronounce her name? Dierieri? I literally just forgot. I'm gonna go and find her right here. Airy, airy. Okay, and she is purity, which I don't know what her actual commandment does, but the ones I know, we have Gallon of Truth, Grey Road of Pacifism, I don't know what Melisculas was, Zeldris of Piety, Esterosa of Benevolence, Monspiet, don't know what his is, Gloxinia of Repose, and Derriere of Purity. I don't know what Drolles is, I don't know what Fraudrens is, you know, there's a lot, but this episode was fantastic. There's so much shit that's going down. We have so many key characters in play right now, even though they're actually surprisingly getting taken out like fucking crazy. Like fucking R.I.P. to Denzel. He was a real one. But Meliodas is back. Shit's gonna hit the fan. I think this is literally... I just don't know how this... Because there's only two more episodes left. How is this season gonna end? Or how could they fuck up season three, man? If uh, I'm, I don't know. I'm excited, though. Like, I just feel like season two, there's no way we can end in the next two episodes and it feel like a wrapped up ending, you know? And I'm I'm not the biggest fan of seasons that can't entirely hang on themselves. Like, I know that's the entire point of earlier seasons is to set up payoffs for later stuff, but there are m multiple seasons of multiple shows where it feels like, oh shit, that was the ending of the season. You could feel like a story has just concluded right there. You know, I, oh, a good a good fucking example, Avatar The Last Airbender. You know, we have this overarching plan. We know what we want to do in the end of the story, but our main goal right now is to make it to the North Pole. We made it to the North Pole. There was some crazy shit that happened to the North Pole. We re resolved that. We had the aftermath. That was the end of season one. That was a fantastic way to bookend a season. I just don't know if I could see that happening for this. Is some shit going to go down where Meliodas can handle all of the one, two, three, like the seven other commandments that we have right here in two episodes? I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I technically, I can't say seven because I don't know what happened with Esther Rosa and Zeldris. that they could be dead. They literally could be dead. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know what you thought down below, it means so much. If you guys wanna check out early access, check out that Patreon down below. Thank you Dapper Squad, have a great day y'all.